What's going on guys, it's Suk and I'm back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. Now in today's video I will be unboxing the 11 inch MacBook Air. Now if you could just take a second out of your time to hit the like button or subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Now without any further ado, let's hit the titles. chosen the 11 inch baseline model now this means you will get a 1.6 gigahertz dual core intel core i5 processor which is capable of turbo boosting to around 2.7 gigahertz and in addition to that you do get intel's built-in hd 6000 graphics you do also get 4 gigabytes of lp ddr3 memory which is clocked at 1600 megahertz Additionally, you do get 128 gigabytes of PCIe based flash storage. Now taking the MacBook Air out of the box and setting that to the side, we do get a closer look at what comes included in the box. Now you do first up get a little pamphlet, which does say designed by Apple in California on the front. Now taking a further look at what comes included in this, first up you do get a user manual, which highlights all the ports, as well as warranty information in English and in Dutch, as well as two Apple stickers. Of course, as I am based in the United Kingdom, I will get a G style plug. Now this plug that you do get will connect up to the power brick in case you want to connect it directly to the wall. Now taking a further look at what comes included in the box, you do get your MagSafe 2 connector, which is again connected to the power brick as I aforementioned. Now you can choose to connect the power brick up directly to the power outlet itself using the aforementioned plug. Now this cable does have an approximate length of around one and a half meters. So if you're close to a wall outlet, it should be fine. But if the case happens that you're not close to a wall outlet or it's on the other side of the room, you can use the included extender wire. Now this wire does have the same length as the aforementioned cable of around one and a half meters. So in total, you could increase the length to around three meters if you so chose. So at first, if you're not very familiar with connecting up the plug to the power brick, it's very simple. You just slide them together to you here, a click. Now on the power brick itself, there are two extendable prongs. Now, when they pull out, you can use it to in fact wrap the cable around it. So if you're traveling around and you don't want your cable to get damaged or in fact tangled, with all being there, then this is your ideal solution to stop that from happening. Now again, it is the same process when connecting up the extension plug to the power brick itself. You connect them both together to you hear a clicking sound and that's it, they are connected. And now your MacBook Air MagSafe connector has a length of around three meters. So guys, that has been it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then do please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Over on the left hand side, you will find my 2016 12 inch Retina MacBook review. And on the right, you will find my 9.7 inch iPad Pro review. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.